Um, since, and since also a lot of you are graduating or sort of thinking about what you're going to be doing with your careers, um, uh, I think everyone in this room um, at this point in their life has or will have times when you sort of question what you're doing and question whether you're on the right path. And in fact, a lot of times when you come talk to me, um, I will say, well, why med school? Why not go to grad school? Um, and, um, and I'm not really doing that to be annoying. Um, I'm doing that because, uh, because um, I want to sort of help make sure that, that, that you, uh, you find the right paths for yourselves. Um, and one of the other things is that if you sort of think back, you've probably all already had times, whether it's in your personal life or your professional life or whatever, where there have been where there's been tension between where you are and where you may want to go. And in your life, you sort of build up motivation, or sorry, build up momentum, as well as motivation, to get to a particular goal, and then may come to a time where you think, maybe that's not really where I want to go to. Um, uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm in the wrong relationship, maybe I'm on the career, wrong career path. Um, uh, maybe the inertia and, and, uh, and, um, and momentum that I've built up is something that I need to change. Um, and so, uh, it's um, uh, uh, I, um, one perspective that I kind of want to share is a quote from uh, from uh, YouTube. We watch a ton of YouTube videos. Uh, it's guy Hank Green, um, uh, it, where in which he says, um, uh, "You have no obligation to your former self. They are dumber than you, and they don't exist." Um, uh, so. As you're sort of, when you come to these points, um, you don't owe your old self anything, um, and you have um, every right to sort of readjust the, your path in life. Um, I wish that I could just say, and you probably hear this a lot, I w uh, you probably hear this advice a lot, I wish my advice was just to, well, just abandon and go on. But if you do that all the time, you're never going to get anywhere in your life. Um, and so um, there's a somewhat longer quote here um, uh, that, uh, from his brother, John Green. It um, uh, says, much is lost in the name of never sacrificing or accommodating, always following your heart. Um, but again, much is also lost in, all, in, in always accommodating um, uh, and always sort of sticking with things. If you're looking for simple answers on how to live a good life, look at elsewhere. There are losses and gains in any choice. Um, and the binary between extraordinary life and ordinary life is treacherous and profoundly false. Um, and so I wish I could tell you, you know, always stick with your goals. Stay true to what you've decided because that's going to get you to where you want to be. Um, but that's also not really always the right choice. Sometimes the right choice is to abandon where you are, find something new. Sometimes the right choice is to stick where you're going. Sometimes it's to find a compromise. There's not one, any one easy solution to these situations. Um, and so sort of one last uh, quote is that um, the most important thing about life is that it occurs out of equilibrium. Um, to stay alive, we need to continually process information, interact with the environment. Um, our lives are finite. And the, finite, the finitude of our lives lead, uh, creates poignancy in situations. At every moment, we decide who we are and how we behave, and that's a choice that we individually make. There are real challenges and real opportunities in life, um, and I hope that as you move forward in your lives, you face those challenges and opportunities with awareness of where you are and the momentum you've put into your life, as well as awareness of what you want now, and take both things into consideration as you decide what the next step is going to be for yourself. So anyway, that's my soapbox time, and thank you all very much. Thanks.